The Texas Department of Criminal Justice says it has a plan for improvements after an internal investigation into a deadly inmate escape earlier this year. We first told you about this yesterday at 630. ABC 13 spoke to a criminal justice professor today about whether the policy changes are feasible and what needs to happen to fix some of the broken areas within the department. When Gonzalo Lopez escaped a prison transport bus in May, he was on the run for three weeks and during that time, he killed five members of the Collins family from Tomball at their ranch in Centerville. The newly released report points out failures, which started hours before Lopez actually got on that transport bus. It's scheduled to take him. It was scheduled to take him to a medical appointment facility. The report says the biggest factors contributing to the escape were staffing shortages and a lapse in security. Criminal justice professor at Sam Houston State University, Mitchell P. Roth, believes some of the new recommendations are realistic. Others will take real effort. I think the you know, there has to be better training on being cognizant of what all the prisoners are doing on, on the bus while they're being transported, which is, you know, apparently was the biggest flaw in the movement um, of this prisoner, you know, to Huntsville. You got to fix it on the front end before you can fix it on the back end, really. And, you know, and, and it seems clear what the answers all are. Better security, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, m making sure that people are sitting in the right place. Because in this case, uh, the individual swaps bases with places on the bus, so they could be directly behind the driver. To learn more about the reported lapses in this case, you can read the full report. Go to our website at abc13.com.